I am here at Heart Failure 2018 in Vienna uh, and I just presented the results of our Heart Failure We study in the late breaking clinical trial session. And we're very excited about this trial because it is a trial about a new way of being active. So the, we did an extra game with patients. And extra gaming was really appealing to us because we thought it's a new form to being active. And a lot of people don't know what an extra game is. So we said uh, we have an extra game that's called uh, Heart for Your Wii. And extra gaming is actually being very physically active. So it's not only playing a Sudoku on your phone or Candy Crush, it is really vigorous rig uh, exercise. So you have to be, either you have to dance or you have to play tennis or bowling. And the tennis and bowling and golf we used in our study. And we thought that this might be attractive to our Heart for Your patients to become more active again. So they're often deconditioned, they may not be able to do a lot of exercise in, in gyms or in rehab centers. So we set out to do a large-scale randomized trial in uh, three continents and uh, we included 600 or over 600 patients. And uh, we studied if they could walk uh, further or, and if they were more happy, if they had a better quality of life, etc. So today I presented the results on well-being uh, in Barcelona last year. I already presented the data on the six-minute walk test, which was positive. But now we were very intrigued, do people also feel better? And we actually found that people have a higher well-being uh, uh, score compared to the control group, so if they extra game. And not only for now, but they also have more expectations for the future, so higher scores on future expectations of well-being. So we were very happy with these results. We were also a little bit surprised today with our results because we expected that if people extra gain more, that they also have much better gain from a six minute walk test um, or in the six minute walk test. And that we could not confirm. We could not see that if you played a lot that you did so much better. But the people who play the extra game did better than people who did not play at all are people who uh, were in the control group. So this study was uh, very nice to present because it's a positive study. It's something nice you can do for patients. And patients we had in the study were very enthusiastic by playing. Some played with their grandchildren, uh, some people with their partner and, and competed. So we believe it is a new form of activity we can give to our patients. Maybe not all patients liked it because I have to be honest, not all patients liked it. But it is a new form of thinking that maybe if it's too cold or if it's too hot or if it's too rainy, people can play that extra game. Or maybe if they're too tired, they can do 15 minutes of bowling in a chair and tomorrow they can maybe do a little bit more activity. So it can help them to get more active and to stay more active in uh, situations where you might not want to go to rehab or, or uh, a, a large activity program. So we were proud to present the results today and we will also follow up the patients for one more year and present these results later.